So here's our lesson on exact and approximate numbers. For us in BCS, when we're doing technical computations or calculations using physical quantities, what we're going to find is that we're, it's going to involve both something called exact and something called approximate numbers. If we take a look at some of the physical quantities that we may encounter, things like maybe we're working in a nursery and we're shipping 20 maple trees and we've measured the heights of these trees and they measure anywhere between 0.8 and 3.1 meters. We might have to work with a definition that an inch is defined as 2.54 centimeters. We might have to work with time. There's 60 minutes is the same as one hour. We might be working with a machine and our machine has five parts. We might be working with a parking lot, and our particular parking lot has 60 parking spaces. Or we might be measuring the dimensions of a room, and the room is measured as 3.7 meters by 2.9 meters. And final example, we might be working with some type of cylindrical storage tank, and we've measured the dimensions of the tank, or we've been maybe given the dimensions of the tank being measured, as the radius is 1.5 meters and the height is 2 meters. Now before we do any calculations with these, we need to know which of all these numbers are exact and which are approximate. So our definition of exact and approximate, exact quantities are going to be those physical quantities that we can count or define. And approximate quantities are going to be those physical quantities that we either measure or that we can calculate from measured values. Using our examples, we can see that the 20 trees that we counted, well that's a count, so it's exact. The definition of our inch, 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters, that's a definition, so that's exact. The definition of an hour, 60 minutes is the same as 1 hour, so that's exact. And our 5 machine parts, since we counted them, that 5 is also exact. And then finally, our 60 parking spaces, we also counted those, so they too are exact. From our examples again, if we take a look at the heights of the trees that we measured, the 0.8 meters and the 3.1 meters, that was the low and the high, since we measured those, those are considered approximate quantities. And the how they're written to one decimal place is indicating to us that our measurement tool can only read to that one decimal place. Our room that we measured the dimensions of, 3.7 meters by 2.9 meters. Again, that's something that we measured, and again, just to one decimal place, so that is an approximate quantity. Now, we could actually calculate the area of that room that we measured the dimensions for, and again, since we're doing a calculation using measured values, that would be an approximate quantity. So the 3.7 times the 2.9, we calculate that out, we'll get 10.73 square meters. Additionally, our volume of water for our cylindrical tank, if we were thinking of water being stored in that tank, we could use the formula volume of a cylindrical tank is pi r squared h, plug in our radius and our height, and again these are measured values, somebody told us that these were the measures of the radius and the height of the tank, so we can use the calculation to get the volume of the tank is 14.137 cubic meters. So hopefully now you have an appreciation for what is an exact quantity and what is an approximate quantity.